Hello, you're very welcome. My chi is quite low. I've got, I can feel something brewing in my throat, so I'm just going to try and keep this as brief as I can, which can be difficult sometimes when there's so much coming through from the angels, but I wanted to jump on here just to share the messages and the guidance and to see how you're all doing after the lion's gate. I found the lion's gate so intense, so life-changing, so profound, beyond anything I expected. There was certainly lots of twists and turns, but I feel very grateful for those energies and I am I'm enjoying this space. I'm enjoying the chance to choose me and to tend to my own heart. So that's really important right now. This energy of August is all about the heart. And if you haven't watched if you haven't watched the August energy updates videos I've done, I highly recommend you do that because Matters of the Heart is one of the videos. This is all about the heart, the portal. Our hearts are portals, right? Our genitals are portals. Our heart is a portal and they're all connected. The middle eye is a portal. So we've got these three portals and lots of other portals, but they're three very strong main openings in our energy field and in our body and we like any beautiful garden they need to be tended to they need to be minded and washed and cleared and and recharged in order to function well so perhaps some of you felt the need with this lion's gate and i did say in the lion's gate video that it was going to be transformative that it would not just affect this timeline but it would actually affect multiple lifetimes as well so it was going to branch out into other expressions of your soul because your soul is not just the one thing here your soul is is actually split in all different timelines different lifetimes different dimensions so the choices that you've made or are making right now are going to have a big impact on that, okay? So I'm recording this on the Leo new moon on the 16th of August. So we're going into the second half of August now. I do feel that by the 30th of August, you will feel lighter. So for those of you, I know some of you are feeling great right now. Some of you are just uh, dancing into the sunset and really enjoying the high frequencies and the, the light codes that's been coming in. For some of you, you're having to face more soul challenges just because it's your time. You know, we, we're all on different timelines and we're all evolving and growing in, in stops and starts and spurts and sometimes you're going through a growth spurt and your friend isn't and then vice versa. I often find that with my really close friends when I'm really strong and feeling great and doing the dance that's when they'll often dip and, and drop and my strength is there so that I can reach in and, and support them and then vice versa when I'm low they're usually on a high doing really, really well and they're able to assist me. So that's often how souls make contracts. We will seesaw. When you're down, I'll be up and I'll give you a hand and then you do the same for me. I scratch your back, you scratch mine, right? So I scribbled down a few channeled messages about these energies. So the first thing that came through from the angels, the nameless ones, that's the group of angels that I'm connected to and I channel, they said unexpected, sudden new timeline, change of heart, new beginnings. Okay, so again, matters of the heart, 
you may have loved the job you're in for the past 10 years and then all of a sudden in the last few weeks you just felt you know what I don't enjoy coming in here anymore or you could be dating your dream woman and in the last few months you just start to see things about her that are not so dreamy maybe there's things in her personality or in her value system that just doesn't sit well in your heart so you need to look at that you need to decide with the rest of this year moving forward how does that affect you in your life and how are you going what choices can you make to shift that now, this is a point that the angels made as I meditated earlier. Just because we need to change something and we need to make a shift, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. It doesn't always mean you have to go in and quit that job that you're not enjoying anymore or divorce that woman or pack up and move to a whole new state or country, okay? This is where we can be, we can act in extremes with the ego, okay? So what the angels were saying was, when we say make a shift, it doesn't always require such drastic action. Change, the word change, humans often balk at that word, right? And they said, a change can be subtle. A change can be a change of approach, a change of perspective, a change of belief systems or thoughts about something. So with the job, instead of handing in your notice, you could go in and speak to your colleagues or speak to your manager and say, look, I'm not enjoying this role so much anymore. I want to progress or promote or, or, or the other way. I don't, I don't like having all this responsibility. Perhaps it's too much of a strain on you and it's taking from your personal life. You've no time for your kids when you get home. Maybe you want to take your hours down. Maybe you want to change your rota, your schedule. So there's lots of ways to approach change and shifts. It doesn't have to mean, oh, that means it's all over and it's all dead and it's all crumbling to the ground. Like we don't have to have those reactions to, to, to these suggestions. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, then there will be some of you and you're hearing this and you're saying, you know what, Aileen, I actually do make, need to make some big changes. Like, I do actually need to pack up and leave because I'm in an abusive situation. And of course, you go right ahead and do that. Absolutely. Only you know to what degree these unexpected, sudden new energies, timelines, changes are going to be beneficial to you. So do look at how you can have a new approach. So for some of you as well, reconciliation, I keep getting that, reconciliation. So perhaps there's been an apology or there's been somebody who you hadn't been in touch with for a long, long time and they suddenly turn up on your doorstep or they call you or they text you, they say they're sorry or they wanna meet up or they wanna talk. Again, you can, you can approach that person, that friendship or whatever that situ, or maybe it's an ex-partner uh, an ex-spouse you can approach that with a new a new energy you that that could be the shift that maybe in the past you just blocked that person and you didn't want to talk to them maybe now you're thinking you know what i don't want to burn my bridges i'd actually like to reconcile and heal this so we can all move forward and not bring any karma into the next lives because i'd really like to shift this in a more positive direction so that's what this can mean as well for some people now for other people, this will be, this new timeline will be a new start in your love life. This will be you meeting somebody new. And I feel, and this is only for a very specific people tuning in right now. I feel for some of you, that energy, that timeline won't really pick up pace. It will, it will really kick in around mid, well, I would say the second week of September. For others, it'll be more the end of September, early October. So think into September, 
onwards basically okay so that's just something as well that I feel and I've been shown and I've been shown that as well with my own personal clients and um, a lot of people coming to me Venus retrograde right we're, we're exploring the heart we're looking at relationships how we show up in love and how we want our partner or partner to be to show up in love okay now there's also this lovely playful energy of fun it's like a lighter side of life and i i do feel that the next two weeks in august are going to be even lighter so for those of you who are already having a blast and, and feeling good it's going to get even lighter and brighter more playful as well so it's very much a focus on the inner child so with this Leo energy, there can be lots of laughter, music, song, concerts, dancing, uh, drumming, you know, just acting the maggot as we say, and having a bit of crack, all right? Now, the big message for this Leo new moon, and obviously bring that energy goes into the next, few, next week or two, is be brave, be bold, express and listen. Listen to what your inner child is expressing now. What does your heart require? How do you show up in your personal relationships? All right. And what do you want your romantic relationships to look like, smell like, express, taste like? Are you matching this? So it's one thing to have a list of all the things you want in a partner and all the things that you require. But are you a match to that? Because sometimes people can explain and describe in detail the kind of man. They can tell you the little glint in his green eyes. You know, they have it down to a fine art. But when it comes to all those qualities and those beautiful personality characteristics, they often don't have that cultivated in themselves. So you have to be really sincere about your desires and how you are matching up to be open to receive those desires because like attracts like and we know this with law of attraction whether you believe in law, law of attraction or not it is one of the laws and facts of our universe and if you look into the science of it it's all there to back it up so this new moon and this energy right now could also bring a bring up some doubts for some people, some insecurities, because through the lion's gate, you've made some big decisions, you've made some, uh, you're basically, you've cleared out, you've cleared out the old and you've decided, right, this is the new me, this is how I'm going to do it, this is the new diet, this is the new approach. And then the doubts come. Oh, I don't know, maybe the other way was better. Oh, I've you know I decided I'm going to leave that job or I've decided I'm going to move to this new place and you were all excited about it you had all this passion through the lion's gate and now practicality kicks in your two feet are on the ground the energies are not so high and and flighty as they are through that that lion's gate portal and the cold light of day is shining on your face and you go oh I don't know. Um, you might have a little doubtful moment or insecurity because it's unfamiliar, because this is the new life. This is the new timeline, right? This is the sudden change, the change of heart. Your angels are saying, check in with that. Feel into it. You'll know if it's just fear that's driving that doubtful, doubting Thomas, okay? Or is it that you genuinely don't actually want to move to Greenwich or London? <laughs> you know, maybe it was just a flight of fancy and now that reality has, has settled back down into your bones, you're thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. And that does happen sometimes. Sometimes we have these crazy ideas, especially when there's portals opening and and there's all these planets retrograding. Perhaps, oh, for some of you, I just got this, somebody's ex has come back and they got very excited and they ran and jumped into their ex's arms. And then they, time has passed, 
they see the old behaviors they hear the old rhetoric and their soul is going oh what have i done here what have i got myself into so being really honest about that and being able to say put your hands up and say you know what this is not the direction that i want to go and this is not the person i want to spend the next six months let alone six years with so for some of you that's a reality hitting home but for most people it's just a doubt because it's a new energy it's a new timeline and it's a new experience and perhaps you fought for a promotion and you were granted that or you you had to bid really high or work really hard to 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 get a house to buy a house and now that you've actually been granted it sometimes you know that thing of careful what you wish for sometimes when we get what we want we freak out sometimes when the miracle happens we suddenly can feel our insecurities of not just feeling like we don't deserve this or oh my god this has actually happened now now I actually have to go in and do the job the, the job that I fought so hard for and told my manager my supervisor that I was the best person for this job and you'd be nuts not to hire me now I actually have to go in and put my money where my mouth is right so that's for most people that's all these doubts are and if you just push through that, and I wouldn't even say push through, it's not a time to push through, that's the wrong word. The angels corrected me there. No pushing through. <laughs> How can I better say that then? Okay, so just feel into that, they said, just feel in. See, the angels are much more eloquent than I am. Just feel into the energy, honor the doubts, because the worst thing we can do with doubts and fears is suffocate them and push them down don't do that that's not good like a scared little inner child because that's really what it is your doubts are your inner child going oh are, are we able for this are we capable are we competent and this is where you say you pick up that inner child and you say absolutely darling you are the best you shine bright you do a good job all is well so that's how you're gonna feel into whatever is surfacing Okay, now I really scribbled this down, so I'm trying to make sense of it. When I'm channeling, it's it's very hard to keep up and, and write nicely. Right. Oh, yes. Express boundaries and honour them. Boundaries. For us empaths and sensitives, it can be... It can be a real challenge, but it's great when you get a handle on them and when you really start i've actually got this book here boundary boss by terry cole highly recommend it boundary boss be a boundary boss in august and forever basically be a boundary boss okay so again that might be the ex maybe your ex is texting you a lot and you had requested no communication that's where you put a boundary in and you say listen i asked for no communication you haven't honored that boundary so I have to now block you wishing you all the best goodbye something like that okay that's just an example of how boundaries are so important in August because with all these retrograding planets many people are being triggered and tested so that's something to keep in mind be brave, stand strong in authenticity and integrity. The more you can tell the truth, the easier your life is going to get now. Telling the, the truth requires the be the Leo, be Leo the lion, be the lioness, be courageous, be brave. I've always noticed when I speak from my heart first of all it doesn't hurt anybody because the truth doesn't hurt people it might disappoint it might people might be sad because maybe it's what you need or you want doesn't match what they need or want but people feel the truth and, and actually there's always a great respect after there's an understanding because their heart knows that your heart is talking to them so speaking the truth being integral being a whole self and honoring the whole self is very powerful right now so that's really supportive of the energies as well you are valuable beyond measure they said 
you are valuable beyond measure. Retreat, drawing a line in the sand, pulling back to gaze inward. You might just have to draw a line and say, that stops here. See that? That energy? That self-abuse or that lack of self-love or that trying to be perfect, the disease to please, trying to please everybody, working, be becoming a workaholic, going to the gym eight days a week. See that? That stops. That's not self-love. So I'm drawing a line in the sand right there. That energy can't cross and pass that line. That's a really strong message for somebody. Okay, you can leave it in the comments if you wanna tell me what that's about. Give up perfection disease, be a full human being, have the courage to own and honor all your feelings. Get out of your head and into your body. And if you watch the energy <laughs> update, that's what the angel said, get out of your head, stay out of your head, get out of your head. Do not get trapped in your head. We have done that to death since 2020. We have had to integrate childhood fears, demons, doubts. We are just, the, the spiritual body, the auric field is exhausted with overthinking and and um, dissecting. So movement, even if you just shake, you know, standing up and shaking is a great way to release trauma. The way an animal does when, just say a car almost kills an animal and then they retreat under a bush and they do this shaking thing. Basically their instinct knows that they need to just shake out all that trauma. Once they finish the whole process, then they're completely trauma free. They don't hold on to anything like we do. They don't go, oh God, I better never cross the road again in case that happens. No, they just, they move the body. They shake it out, shake it off. That's a great example of how to have somatic release, okay? So body movement. And, and if you notice you're getting too much in your head, just get up and start, get busy. Start cleaning out that miscellaneous drawer or go for a walk or go and knock on a friend's door and just say, hey, do you want a cup of tea? Just keep it, keep the energy moving. Okay, this is definitely a time. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not talking about excessive movement. I'm not talking about distracting yourself with constant cleaning and exercising. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about balanced, healthy Balance, keeping a balance, because if we're all up in our head, we're not balanced, okay? The body's been neglected, so we're keeping that yin-yang balance. Heart chakra opening for some, okay? So for some people, excuse me, this August is all about awakening the heart portal, like they've never experienced before. For some people, their heart has been shut down all their lives. You know who you are. And all of a sudden, there's a lot of emotion. You might be crying a lot. You're releasing a lot. Welcome it. It's part of your ascension. Hello and welcome to the ascension journey. It's part of your path. For others, it's that the, the heart, the, the, the portal in the heart and in the high heart is being elevated. It's being, it's being raised to a higher code, a higher frequency. So any trapped emotions that rise up for release, cleanse them, purge them, release them. Sudden change, drop your doubts and become open to the new, the unfamiliar and the changes. Do not justify your new choices. That was an interesting one. Do not justify your new choices. You don't have to justify, explain or defend your new timeline. Be integral, be Leo the Lion, stand tall and strong. Rebel heart, rebel energy. And for some of you, that's why you, your family and friends might be expecting you to justify why you've decided something. <coughs> you don't need to, you're an adult, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody. Be the rebel heart, 
be the lioness, be Leo the lion, have the courage. Just, why did you do that? Why did you change that? Because I want to. Because I choose to. Because this is my life and I'm a sovereign being and I get to choose what I do, how I do it and with whom I do it with. So own your feelings and own your choices. Rebel heart, rebel energy. And for some people that's gonna be doing something completely, and it may not be rebellious to the outside world, but for you, it's so rebellious because it's something you've never done before. It's something that you never dreamed in your wildest dreams that you would do or choose because you never thought you'd be that brave, but you're doing it because you have a rebel heart. Unexpected changes in money and finances, that was something as well, that can go positive, negative, that can go both ways. And miracles by the 30th of August. So I do feel there's a miraculous energy right now. This is probably one of the most spiritual times of the year that we're in. It's deeply, deeply spiritual. I'm actually, I'm enjoying it because as a highly spiritual being, I'm very comfortable with those energies. I'm also excited about these changes and I love when we enter a miracle portal and that's what they told me the next week is. It's like a portal of miracles. So lots of transformation, lots of unexpected changes, but it's all for you. It's all to benefit you. Remember that none of these retrogrades are trying to get you. <laughs> They're actually trying to help you to get on the timeline that you prefer. So I didn't mean to go so long with this. I better go sending you all tremendous August love and light and blessings. Bye for now. Oh, and give me a thumbs up if you found this of benefit.